Hello, Semper Squad, and welcome back to Semper Admin, your go-to resource for mastering administrative tasks. In today's video, we will be covering the use of mail merge. Before we dive in, let's just quickly discuss why it's crucial for means to understand what this is and how it's utilized. Mail merge is an essential tool for effectively generating documents like certificates, letters, and forms using data from Excel. For example, we will be using the technique of creating global score cer uh, certificates from a roster of participants. This skill will streamline administrative procedures, saving time and ensuring accuracy in your document. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look over here and see that we do have the um, certificate here. And then over here, I have the roster. And I tried to put these on one page for you to make it easy to understand. So usually what we would have to do is like copy paste or we would type out into this uh, names each person that was at this course. But today I'm going to show you some steps that you can do to take the information row by row and then annotate them here on the Word doc. So when you print them, they will print all for everything that's here. So to do that, we're going to come up to mailing and then we're going to come over here to start mail merge. And we're going to use the step by step mail merge wizard. What that's going to do, it's going to pop up this right hand navigation. We're going to keep this on uh, letters. Hit next. We're going to use this current document because I already have it open. And then we're going to use an existing list. So my list already exists in my computer. So I'm going to hit browse. And then what it's going to do, it's going to ask you for that connection. So I'm just going to go to the source of where this Excel is. And now what's going to find this document. So in this document, the first thing you're going to notice is that it's going to look for the sheets, meaning the tabs that are down here. So you can have multiple tabs within a workbook or multiple uh, worksheets within a workbook and only pick one of them. And then here, the first row of data contains the headers. So this first row has the headers here. Now, if your roster or your Excel only had the names and no headers, you would omit that by checking that off. But mine does, so I'm going to keep it. I'm going to hit OK. And now it's going to give you a preview of what it's seeing within your data. So here you have all the sources. So it's telling you mail merge. It gives you the names of those individuals. And then if there's anybody you want to omit, you can just uncheck those individuals and they will not be part of the mail merge. Or you can come over here and add some kind of filtering or sorting for that type of information. So I'm just going to hit OK because it has everything that I am looking for. Now that I have this, we are going to have these new options up here under the mailing. So the thing that we're going to start doing first is we are going to insert the uh, mail merge fields. And these are the fields that you're going to see that were my column headers over here in my Excel. So what I want to do is I want to replace this information with the data that is here in my uh, mail merge. So the first thing I want to do is add rank. And if you notice, it does these arrows around it. That's how you know this is a ma mail merge area or cell. I'm going to hit space because I want a space between that and my first name, space, middle initial, space, last name. Okay. Then after my name is going to be that EDIPI. And then after this slash, I'm going to put the MOS space for that. Now, how do I know what this is going to look like? Now over here, we can actually preview the results by clicking this. This is now showing me exactly what's here under this first row of information. Under the preview results, we have these arrows. So if I click this next arrow, it will automatically go to the next record or line in my Excel. And now I can see each one of these certificates as they would be based off of my information over here. So a couple of things I wanna show you. So the first thing is, is that this is a standard or a set piece of text. So this information is moving to the left and right, depending on the size of the information that's out of all these fields. So if you notice, it will move to the left and right, which is good because that's what you want in these types of situations. The next thing I want to show you is that this middle initial isn't always going to be there. So it actually omits it. And it pushes everything back together, just skipping over that space. So just some good information that you can look at there for that. And again, this could be for any type of information. You could do it down here for the class. You could do it down here for the date. A lot of different things you can utilize this for. 
Um, but anything that's here on your Excel, you can pull into this Word doc for that piece. So now when you're done, you've identified it, you tested it. Now we're going to come up here. And then what you can do is you can print these documents. And then you can do all records. This is the current page. Or you could do from one to five or whatever your situation is. But here you can actually put all that information so that you are able to look over it and then print out those certificates as you need. So this will save you a plethora of time, making sure that everything is done um, effectively and efficiently. Uh, just a couple things I want to talk about before we wrap it up. Some common mistakes to avoid or tips to keep in mind. So, so the first thing is always ensure your data, uh, data is accurate. So remember, anything that's over here in the Excel is going to come over here onto the Word doc if you select the field. So if you spelled corporal wrong, for example, uh, then it's going to be spelled wrong here. Okay, so just know that type of stuff. So always check this information first before doing your mail merge. And then make sure that you're always um, using the proper format. Uh, we do have things in here that you can do as placeholders, as we saw here. You want to make sure that this stuff is accurate for you while you're putting it into your ma mail merge cells. So some good stuff there. To quickly recap, today we covered the process of using mail merge in Excel to create corporate course certificates effectively. We walked through the parameters, uh, or we walked through preparing that data in Excel, setting up the certificate template in Word, and inserting the merge fields and completing the merge. That's it for today's video. If you found this content helpful or if you learned anything, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to Semper Admin for more instructional videos on the Marine Corps Administrative Duties. Feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for a future topic. But until next time, stay motivated 